Okay, good morning. It's 3.29 in the morning. It's 52.7 degrees. It's July 11th. My goodness, that's day 99. I'm waking up. All right, good morning. 4.42 in the morning. 52.2 degrees. Oh my gosh. Just breaking out of camp. Where's the trail? There it is. Um, yeah, late start this morning. Um, man, so I was asleep last night, um, probably asleep by like 7 p.m. for sure, and, uh, at some point, late in the night, late, late, long after 7 p.m., started hearing footsteps outside the tent, and at first, they definitely sounded distinctly bipedal, and I thought, well, no worries, it's just another hiker, hiking on by, so I kind of roll around, look around a little bit, don't see any headlight, and as I'm kind of like piecing together that I'm not hearing any headlight, it occurs to me that it's like way too early. Like, I know my alarm's for 2.30, and I know I usually break camp around 4. So I was like, there's no way that there's anyone out here. If it's, if it's not yet 2.30, there's no way there's someone out here. Um, so I look at the watch, and it's like 10 past 1. Look outside the tent to figure out what kind of animal this is. And uh, there's like this huge deer just noshing. Uh, I guess where I camped is just the most amazing salad bar for those critters. Well, these two very large deer decided to just spend an hour and a half within 15 feet of my tent chewing breathing, stomping, chewing, breathing, stomping for an hour and a half and I could not sleep. Believe me when I tell you. I tried yelling at them. I tried clapping my sandals together, my chanclas. Nothing, man. Nothing. Excuse me. Nothing was getting those critters away from my tent, so huh, so I just lay awake there until finally they moseyed along. So, anyways, decided to give myself an extra hour, try and make up for that a little. Um, and then this morning, as I said, it hasn't it hasn't been below 50 all night. Um, so I don't know whether it was the warm temperatures or the late start, but the mosquitoes have just been haranguing me all morning. Oh, well, man, usually I get like a reprieve. <laughs> Half of my plan for this early start, early finish stuff is that I can get to camp and eat dinner and get in my tent before the mosquitoes really get super active in the evening. And then in the morning, hopefully get my breakfast started and get packed up before they really get going. But it didn't work this morning. Well, is what it is. Uh, turns out I'm 35 miles from the hitch point into Quincy. So we'll see how much of that we can close today. And do the rest tomorrow. That's all I got. Check in with you guys later.
right, good evening folks. It is 10 till five in the evening, 77.4 degrees. I've made it to home for the night. This is just off of mile uh, 1258.7. And just about, just a touch over 10 miles from um, from the road, from uh, Bucks Lake Road, where I'll, where I'll be getting off tomorrow. Um, so, came about two-thirds of the way up this huge climb. It's almost a 3,000-foot climb down from, um, excuse me, I should say, up from uh, the river. I forget what river that is. Uh, that's fine. Whatever creek, I don't know. Um, and yeah, clocked just about 26 miles, 20 or no, 25.6, I think is what it was today. Um, so still a pretty decent day. I hit my 20 by 12, which was really cool, especially considering how, how late the start was for me um, on account of that crazy rapscallion deer. So you can see I'm all pitched up. This is a uh, cowboy, cowboy camping tonight, um, mostly just because I don't think the humongous Durston will fit in that little uh, established tent site there, so just pitched up cowboy. I'm not totally in love with the condition of this tree under which I'm camped. Um, pretty much just been a burn zone all day long. I mean, I'm sure you saw the shots. It's just been burn, burn, burn zone, which is always super sad. But I think, I think, uh, rumor is tomorrow morning, um, I should be out of the burn zone pretty early. I think in about two miles or so, which is also where there's a spot called Lookout Rock or something, which should be pretty cool. And uh, the rock breaks away the east um, with a nice easterly uh, view. So I'm thinking I might, um, at first I was kind of back and forth, maybe just kind of sleep in since it's only 10 miles to the road and I'm jumping off tomorrow. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how I feel, but I might just set an alarm and get up there for sunrise. We'll kind of see. Um, let's see. Uh, I ran into shade today as well. I passed her like at 9 in the morning. Um, we decided to meet up for lunch again. So we stopped and uh, got lunch together just at like, just at, well, my mile 20. She had gone a little further yesterday, so it wasn't quite her mile 20, but um, yeah, just again, soaked, soaked, soaked the feet in like a little creek or whatever that was a little stream or whatever that was there. Um, really, really, really helpful. Um, shade just has the most disgusting, like <laughs> filthy, like line of filth around where her socks uh, break into her calves. It was pretty hysterical. I was teasing her about it. It's kind of like a recurring joke of ours how dirty her feet are, but um, Whatever. Uh, it was nice to see her. Uh, she actually wound up hiking on just another couple of miles as well uh, I already saw her pass by my camp here um, So we might run into each other tomorrow morning or maybe in Quincy or whatever. I think she's just gonna pass through though um, She had mentioned that a few of the other hikers around whom she's been hiking on this jump uh to include her one night actually had a bear in camp which is pretty crazy um, and definitely not great so all of a sudden i feel pretty lucky that i was just complaining about deer but um yeah i guess that either she or others or whatever i don't really know aren't being quite as like responsible with food as perhaps is warranted um and so yeah they had a bear two or three nights um which is crazy um, not shade all those nights, but some of the other people. So yeah, there's there's been bear coming through people's camps and stuff, which is scary, man. I mean, granted they were able to chase them away, it wasn't really a problem, but not great, not great. So um, yeah, so I mean, I'm I'm if I'm being honest, like I still ate at camp here, but cleaned up and put everything in my odor-proof bags in my earth sack, and hung it all whatever over there. Um, it seems like the bears were just smelling food, smelling trash, which is to be expected. Um, let's see, anything else? Uh, if you are going to get an ursac, by the way, or if you have an ursac, make sure you look up like the proper knots and stuff for that. There's, there's really a very specific way to seal up an ursac that actually makes it safe, like bear safe. And if you're not following that procedure, it, chances are your ursac won't, won't protect your food against a bear. So, um, so far so good in my experience, but we'll see. I think that's all I got. Yeah, I think that's all I got. Burn zone, bummer. Day 99, that's crazy. Tomorrow's gonna be day 100. Um, past two hikes, I'll just mention this and then I'll snap off. Past two hikes, um, I've asked you guys, the viewers, um, man, it's it's day 100 for me tomorrow. Like, 
drop a comment, please, please, please. It would really mean a lot to me if I can get a lot of people to respond to my day 100 video and just say hello, tell me who you are. If you've never commented before, that's fine. Um, just kind of tell me where you're from or if you're thinking about hiking yourself or if you just like hiking videos, if you're from California, I don't know, just like a quick little like overview. Who are you? Who are you? I'd love to kind of like say hello and see who's watching the videos. So um, yeah, if you want to do me any sort of favor at all, if you appreciate these videos, it would really mean a lot to me if you could comment on my day 100. So um, I'll ask again tomorrow. Sorry, it just is what it is. With that, I'm going to snap off and go to sleep. I'll talk to you all later. Hey. You can go do that somewhere else. Hey. 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 Oh. I have to go away.